if you can put it into one memory, but I guess what would your favorite memory be of winning the Stanley Cup and being able to celebrate? Um, well, there's a few. I mean, you all have those memories that, you know, people talk about. I still think game six, Marty, you know, um, double over time. That was the best game I've ever been in, uh, I've ever watched. Uh, you know, you talk about sacrifice and, you, as you know, what players have to go through in a long run like that. And for us to lose game five at home, um, fly to Calgary, and then win game seven uh, or game six in double overtime, you know, with the cup right there sitting yeah. at, at the boards. Um, to me, that was, that was, it was awesome. It really was. And watching guys just all out, like everything they had. And for us to then get on a plane and go back to game seven, you know, the only thing I said after the room, I said, yeah, we've won that game, but now we got to win game seven. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, well, you know, that's the thing. You, you, we... Yeah. You come off such that emotional high. Yeah. And then you're yeah, like, we, oh, we definitely well. came off the high. Yeah. We came off the high. We did get back to the hotel in Calgary. We didn't fly out right away. Uh, we had a couple of beers. We just sat around and, you know, we, I said, you know, everybody, when we go to bed, it's business after this. So we'll enjoy it now. Yeah. And, you know, when we get to bed, so we were very fortunate in game seven, which was a um, cool experience for not only, you know, us, but our whole community, all of our fans that were there. You've seen the pictures. It's um, not similar to the crowds you guys had, but they were building. <laughs> they were definitely building. They were definitely building. Well, no, I remember, I remember, you know, seeing Marty's goal, we've seen it a million times, but just every, every time you see it, you just see the raw emotion. It's, it's amazing mm -hmm. to, to not only, you know, watch that, but then, like you said, have to go through that, go to Calgary, win that game, come off that high and then put on kind of the clinic that you guys did in game seven, yeah. Um, yeah. especially at home with, you know, it, it, it was amazing. So, so for us, obviously, Again, a little different in the circumstances that that we were in. I just think it all came together at, at the end when you when you win. And then usually, like I'm sure it was for you guys, you have just a flood of people coming into that dressing room after the yes. game. And of, of course, you have your moment with the guys, but there's family and there's friends and there's media and it's just a zoo um, uh, probably. And yes. for us after the game, it was just the 52 guys that were in that bubble with us. And that was just kind of unique and we took it. Okay. Obviously we really wish we could be spending this time and celebrating with our friends and family who have all sacrificed just as we had in that bubble, but it was yeah. just really special to be with that group, whether it was the players, the, the coaches, the staff, the, you know, everyone who had a piece of that team in that bubble right. got to be in that room for three, four hours with, with wow. just the cool. Stanley cup and celebrate so that that was kind of really unique obviously to that situation but something that really stood out um for for those group of guys to yeah. just finally have that accomplishment come to to life and to celebrate with each other and yeah well i i actually remember. had to i had to go in towards his room and get a whistle <laughs> and i blew the whistle in the room to kick everybody out yeah Oh, I'm sure. And you're, and you're absolutely right. The best time that we had was just us in the room. Yep. Whether you're aware with your doctors, you, you know, your training staff. Right. Uh, you know, that was, those are, those are really, really cool memories. And you're right. For us, you know, you know how small that room is. There must have been 200 people in that room. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. And we were just jammed in there. And, my, you know, my, my family is there, which was cool. But, you know, after we blow the whistle and, kick everybody out that was a that was the best part of mine yeah well we'll we'll finish it off how you guys finished off yours and um um your parade and our parade and i the i don't know it's a no-brainer here because <laughs> <laughs> um I, and remember the time of year i think helped you guys let's just yes. say that right if it, it had been did. a normal year it would have been 120 degrees out on the water, but it wasn't. Yeah. Uh, it's still a, it's still a really cool community event, right? Like you know, you think about that. It's not about us, you know. We've right. done that. It's 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 going out to the community, and even though our parade uh, was in you know downtown Tampa in 
it was sweltering heat. Um, I still remember the, the smiles on people's faces and everybody lined up as you went by. But um, I wish I had a chance to do a boat parade because that was really, <laughs> really cool. <laughs> well, you know what? It's funny because, you know, the, the first thing that you dream of is winning the Stanley Cup. And then as soon as you win, you're like, oh, when do we get to have that parade, right? And you see the yeah. normal parades and we knew, you know, a parade might have been not even likely for us under the circumstances. And obviously playing in Tampa, we have the benefit yep. of getting on the boats. And it was it was amazing to see all the people that were out there, to see the boats, to, you know, we were, you know, Victor Hedman and I and Luke Shen, we, we were the, you know, the older statesmen yeah. here. So we had the cup on our boat and that was, that was amazing. Killer was on the jet ski, bringing the yeah. cup around. But like you said, it was. Well, it was a little was scary the, to be honest with you. Yeah. Well, I, I, I joke that if, if that thing, you know, if I had it at one point on the jet ski, like if you drop that, they're not coming in to save you. They're coming in to save the cup. So, that's right. That's right. <laughs> it that's was, right. It was it was it was amazing to see all the fans and it wow. was so hard for them too not being able to support us and be there and have to watch all the games. So it was really for them and in the community and it it was amazing. We lucked out. The weather was fantastic and you know, it was the, you know, we had the NHL uh, camera guys there and they've done a lot of parades in different sports yeah. and they said wow this was was pretty cool and unique yeah. so it'll go down and then, in the and then i guess you know, probably you the first the, boat parade yeah and then you set the standard now any a championship in tampa bay right and boom, they did it the boat the parade. Yeah. <laughs> which which turned out awesome yeah i i know that you never wore the original crest um jersey um but you have seen the new retro jersey yeah. And I think it's so cool. I really do. I mean, you know, having the blue, but then with the original crest, you know, like uh, I was a firm believer to not get rid of the black, but the blue and white has really kind of grown on me, to be honest with you. It's really, it is cool. Um, but it, that, that retro jersey is, is, is pretty iconic. You know what? The, the guys love it. They love it. And like you said, I, you know, going back to my first couple of years, we had the not the quite the original jerseys that you guys had, but yeah. we had the black and we had the the white. And for whatever reason, you know, we we always loved the black too. You just look bigger and meaner, yes. and and you know that old logo. So I have you know I have those jerseys hanging up for sure. And then when they told us they were going to do the retro, um, we, you know, we didn't quite know what it was going to look like. We knew the crest would be there, but I think it looks, it looks great. The the players yes. love it. We've, we've played pretty well in them, I think too. So uh, yeah. looking forward thing. to wearing them a couple more times this year. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah. Well, um, you know, good luck to you for the rest of the year. Um, uh, you guys have been awesome. Um, you're staying healthy, knock on wood that you stay yeah. healthy and, um, you know, I think your best chance of getting that cup back to Toronto again is just go ahead yeah. and win it again. Just win it again, right? <laughs> just win it again, and then, you know, we'll, we'll do that for sure. So, okay. uh, all right, take care. We'll, we'll talk to you later. Okay, thanks, Andy. Appreciate it.